もう少し誇りを払った方がいい。Um, uh, a little bit uh, uh, 払った wiping away of dust would be good. はい。ねぶりは眉を一層目。Uh, nobody he he um he furrows his eyebrows. Uh, kagen so ni uh, ko chio mita. He 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 make a uh, he look that he he give me a look that is like a um confused, a confused look, right. あそうすれば、くしゃみがとぶまるかもしれないよ。If I do that,、uh, the sneezing,、uh, the sneezing would not stop. Would, un would be un would unlikely to stop. What is Kamos? Oh. I, I, I see. Uh, so, kamo shirenai and kamo is the same thing. It's not a negative version of it. Um, it just means perhaps. Like, theoretically, kamo shire without a nai also means perhaps, I guess. But it always means perhaps.、Um, it's just kind of like, isn't it, I guess, in English? It just, even if you put a negative there, it's still positive.、Um, it still just means perhaps. So, perhaps, kushami will tomaru. If I dust.、Uh, if I dust, perhaps it will stop your sneezing. So, so.、Uh, ko, kono kusao mi wa.、Uh, this sneeze, this sneezing, okori no se de wa nai, is not due to dust. Tachi no warui kaze da na. Uh, it's because of、um, it is a, a terrible, a bad cold. Right. It is due to a bad cold. Eh, do you go to? Ah? What do you mean? Do you go to? Mire ba wakaru da ro ga? If you look, you will see. If you look, you will see.、Uh, shouldn't you? Nebri wa fukigen so ni. Fukigen is in a bad mood.、Uh, he looks to be in a bad mood. Ita. Mae datte. O mae datte kaze kurai. Ikita. Uh, he, he, ta, he, ta, koto, ga, aro. Uh, you must have, even you, even you have caught a cold. Perfect. Even you've caught a cold. He, ta, koto, ga. And the must part does actually work well for the aro. So that's a lot like that all we saw over here. The difference is just this comes from aru and this one comes from da. So it's like that. You should also do this. So that's also probably true. You should have also c a u g h a cold. So that was a good way of translating that. Do o n a r u ga ka? Wakaru da ro ni. Becoming what? Hi, exactly. Becoming what? Do naruka. So, this is like what becomes. So, this is used like what it means basically to mean what happens when you catch a kaze. But literally, it is what becomes. And you have to use context to understand it means what becomes when you get a cold. Because we're talking about a cold right here, right? You've had a cold before, right? You know what happens, don't you? What will happen? What will happen? 
what would happen that I would understand? Well, in this case, it's kind of you, the whole sentence. Even you have caught a cold before, haven't you? You should understand what happens when that when that happens, right? What got to understand? You should know. You should know and understand what happens when you got a cold. Um, it makes you sneeze. Gives you some kshani. Um, hmm. So I have a lot of practice sentences with to you in them. Hi. Here's our first practice sentence. The meaning of zetsumetsu is she ni taeta toyu imida to come to the end of the end of death. Yes, that does mean it. So it basically means to die out, to come to the end where there's only death. Tied is the die out. So zetsumetsu extinction. The meaning of extinction is no. So to define distinction as no, which is meaning. So the meaning that you'd call distinction is defined as uh, dying out. You all die out to the extent that there's only death. So. Um, can you read this line up here for me? Ani to you. Ani is defined as omoto, 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 omoto. Moto. So to define ends with a verb. You. That makes this into theoretically something called a relative clause. So because of that, it's not to define any. This is to define the word imoto in this specific context. So it doesn't have to be defining imoto as a word in the dictionary. It just could be this sister I would define as ani. Ani toyu imoto. Ani toyu imoto wa. This is the little sister that I would call, I would define as Annie, is in an elementary school student. This is um, a reference to the Magic Tree House. So um, with Toyu, you always want to have a big category, a big group that's over here, that's our main thing. And then we're defining something of the group to be more specific as the second thing. So you're not describing Annie, you're describing a little sister as being Annie. Um, so this is always the head, this is the most important part. So you could say the little sister is the elementary school student is the main sentence here. And we're just defining the little sister as Annie, the little sister. So <laughs> So you can see here in English, we just have put random commons here. Annie, the little sister, is an elementary school student, right? The little sister, Annie, is an elementary school student. We would just put commas because we don't use toyu as a actual like thing that we would say in English. We just kind of do commas and stuff when we would define something as that. Like we'd say, the president of the company Sam is known for blah, 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 blah. Like you do that comma thing. This is told you in English is the comma directly after the word without any um, relative clause markers. Hi. So an example of a sentence using this grammar, which is how we do it in English, which not all the example sentences will be doing this, um, would be the big brother, Jack. So Jack is a defining point, or you can do the opposite, is a primary student. So the big brother is a pioneer student, and then we're defining it with the word Jack. Jack told you, Ani, what? And then just Shogakse. Shogakse. Perfect. Yep. Ani means big brother. Um, this is a word we saw in the past. There's some kanji we haven't seen for a while, so you might not remember them, but this is another example sentence for you to read.
Ryu to you know wa, the thing that is Ryu. Hiyo. Fukeru. Dobutsu da. A fire breathing animal. Exactly. Perfect. Yep. The thing that I would define as a dragon is an animal that breathes fire. Perfect. Um, here's another random word. We got shogakse down here from the magic treehouse. Let's go read it. Jack to ani wa frog gu frog frog hi ita creek creek toyu machi no sogakse da Annie, I'm sorry, Jack and Annie, uh, they are Frog Creek Toyu Machi no Gakseida. They go to, they, they are, um, they are primary student of the, of the, of a town that calls, uh, the town is, it call it defined as Perfect. As a random note, if you're not doing a book title, so when you have wa here, which would be main, this is separating from ga, theoretically, this is Annie and Jack. So if this was a book title, that'd be different. We don't have the ga. So if this was Jack to Annie and it's a book title, then it would be Jack and Annie, which is just kind of interesting as like how book titles are made. But in a story itself, this would be Annie and Jack, because the Jack toll part has toll, because because particles um, attach from the bottom up, right? Let's go here, and we go up that way. So um, it it would depend. So in a sentence, you would normally do the opposite than if it was in a title, because um, in English, in the title, we have to start with the first person, right? It's kind of like how in English, if we're talking about like with writing things, you're not supposed to say me and Sam. You're supposed to say Sam and I. So it's more polite to put I, Sam first. It's kind of like that idea. So with a book title, it is the reverse than how it would be in a book because of that. Um, just that same kind of like lightness uh, level. Um, so here, I'd like you to read this whole sentence. Um, this one is is more like keep an open mind for this one. This one can be hard if you take it too literally. So it's a metaphor going on here. Okay. Sasato nazuke. Unazuke. Okay. From unazuke, which means to nod. To nod. So sato meaning quickly. Yes. Immediately nod. Immediately. I order you. Uh, hora. Hayaku. Toyu. Hara no koe ni. Uh, to turn upside down. Yeah. Saka. So this that can mean to turn upside run down. In this case, it's a betray. Saka ezu. Sakara ezu. Ore wa unazuita. Perfect. Uh, in this context, this is um to use defining hara no koe rather than just hara. I would say it's the uh, noun phrase. It's a bit bigger. Um, hara no I think I've vaguely told you this before, but whether or not it's this noun or both nouns just depends on context. Um, it can't be skipping to koi, so it's not toyu koi, but it is hara no koi, and it just has to, it's this vagueness, like the, I watch gorillas with binoculars. So the sound of the stomach is defined as being hora hayaku, hurry up. Hey. And what else? Oh, and as well. Okay. It's both of these. So it's sasato unazuge. Hurry. Um, immediately nod your head. Hurry up. Yep. Immediately nod your head. Hurry up. That is defined. That is the thing that defined hora no koe, the sound. Right. Neat. Mark the destination, the target. Yes. The thing that we cannot sakara is it. We cannot betray it. We cannot betray it. 
unable to betray <laughs> the sound of my stomach saying, hurry up, nod your head, hurry up, hurry up. I did what? I. I. Ore wa unazuita. I nodded. Perfect. Um, but here is, is less of a betray, but more of a disobedient. I would not disobey. Yes. It is that. It has both meanings. So whatever you think sounds Go better again. is the word to use. Kind. Okay. Machitsushi next told you. Uh, mm -hmm. Hi. Okay, so the thing that this. The thing that defines Machutsushi mm -hmm. is... A thing you define as a magician, right? This is our big category. This is our small category. Those you would call magicians. One Those you... that is defined as a magician. Machutsushi toyu no wa mudo na tomo ga Ra Mudo na tomo gara ga oku amari yaku ni tachimasen. Perfect. So tomo gara is another way to say like yatsu, right? Yatsura. So I like ra here, so it sounds kind of plural, but it's it's fits in the letter. This is a letter that nobody wrote to Foresu sama. So it's a better vocab word. Tomogara. Tom so, uh, tomo so it just means those guys. Tomogara. Tomogara ga. Oke. So what are those things we call Do magicians? Those that we call magician are, are actually mudo na. These are adverbs here. No, no, I'm sorry. These are adjectives, I not know. adjective. Without abilities. Yes, there are people no without ability. abilities. Oh, okay. good. Uh, there are lots of them. Yeah. Those, Those things we call magician, are... many of them are useless. I mean, many of them have no ability. And what else are they? Amari, a little bit. Yakunitachimasen, useless. Okay. They're not even, even a, they're totally useless. Yeah, Amari, hi. So, Amari is a um, card with English. Not useless, but even a little bit. Um, so another thing we can use to you is we get our big category and define it with that big category again. So mado to you mado means a ma a window that you would call a window or a window that you would refer to as a window. So what does that mean? All the windows, anything yes, that can be the window, we are referring to it exactly. So, when you think about you as defined, it does help a bit for that. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Ani to you know wa that which is ani or those right. ani that which is ani jack no imoto da is the little sister of Jack. Yep. The thing you'd call Annie, it's a little sister of Jack. Perfect. So how would you say kaze is, as in is defined, as the wind that blows thing using a whatever you want from our vocabulary down there? Kaze to you no wa. The thing that is kaze is the wind that blows things. Uh... Kaze. Which kaze is it? Is it katakana kaze? This kanji or this kanji? One, two, or three? Uh, uh, one. So you could use one. Two is better for our purposes because two means wind. The first kaze we did is actually better up here for when we don't have a specific kanji in mind. Hi. Uh, so the wind that blows the thing. Right, wind that blows thingy. You're right. What? What'd you say? I I was gonna reorder it. I wanted to say kaze toyu no wa fuiteru kaze da. 
This is perfect. As in like a relative. Construct. This is beautiful. This is 100% correct. So you define cause as the thing, as a cause that blows. Perfect. Um, my goal here was just to match um the main the the goal sentence of the book, which ended with, um, uh, it did end with that. Then it said no koto, which is the thing. So yeah, this was perfect. It just this is just the thing word. No koto. So just a thingy like word, <laughs> just like in English. So we're not saying. This is specific, it just makes it more generic. No, no. We take the wa out because we use the no do at the end. Um, no, you can keep the wa in. So it just the thing opened out. So we said kaze to you no wa. Oh, wrong kaze. Kaze to you no wa. Um, fuite iru kaze. Yeah, this is what you said. This is grammatically correct. Nothing wrong with it. In my English sentence, I had the word thing afterwards. Kaze is the wind that blows thing. So that means you'd want to add koto to this, which is the word thing. Koto takes the particle no, because it is a noun, and so it's kaze. So it would be kaze to you no wa fuiteru kaze no koto da. If you wanted to, you could replace wa with ga. Um, kaze to you no ga, fuite ka, kaze no koto da. But that would be odd because normally you'd use wa here since it's such a short sentence. By by default, the subject of short sentences normally take wa. Um, if you use ga in a short sentence that doesn't have more than one verb in it, um, it 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 can be a little bit weird because wa marks the most important thing. Um, so ga would be there to signify something. Like there there's a, should be a reason if it's a tiny sentence. Because if you're just saying a tiny sentence, the most important thing on its own is probably this, right? The most important thing is that we're defining what cause is. And that, so if there's ga, then we have to pay more attention to what's going on. Um, topic marker, so yeah, so Da here, one hundred percent grammatically correct. Perfect. Um, no koto is just adding thing, right? When that blows thingy, right? Shows more confusion. Um, here's another sentence for you to read. Kame no. Kame no um. Ko, kora. 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 Kame no kora. De, de kiteiru, to you. Ah, hachi ga dete kita. To, de iru, to you. De iru, to you. The, kame, the shell of the turtle. Is made of. De de kiteru. De marks the tool in which something was made with. Uh, the bow, the hachi. Hi. Is defined as. Make. Is defined as being made with. Turtle shell. Exactly. Yep. So we could the sentence would be fine if we took out toyu. Um it'd still be grammatically correct, but toyu is just there to add more of a defining feeling. We took out the bowl that was made from uh stuff. Next word to practice with. Chanto Aida it no no. Chanto kiteru yo. Listen a little bit. Listen well. Listen well. well is a better way of translating this contextually. Hi. So you were thinking about choto, I think, when you first uh, yeah. it. Yes, exactly. It's chanto, chanto. To do it correctly, to do it Hi. well. Uh, toyu shirushi. Right. Yonazuita. 
So to do is defined as listen well. Right. She does she is defined as listen well. You thinking about the verb sudo? Sudo is never she do. Uh, it never happens, ever. Um, she do she, as shown by this knee right here, knee should never, ever go in front of a verb unless it's knee wa, which is a different grammar point. Knee goes in front of two things. One thing you can go in front of is nouns. The other thing you can go in front of is na adjectives because adjectives that are not adjectives are basically nouns. So really only nouns can go in front of me. So if you ever want something in front of me, you have to turn it into a noun or use a pre-existing noun. For example, here we have aida ni, because aida is a noun. Seiji ni, because seiji is a noun. And right here, shirushi ni, because shirushi is a noun. Shirushi means symbol. For example, ya means arrow, and a ya shirushi is a symbol of an arrow, like this. This is an example of a ya shirushi. An example. Really, ya shirushi. An example is defined as listen well. Hi. So the symbol is defined as listen well. The symbol. The symbol. So I then we have ni here. So there's two things we basically say that ni can mean. One meaning is location. Does it make sense to be at the location of a symbol? Like symbol is the location. Does that make logical sense? Um, in this context, I'm probably not. You're correct. He's not at a location. So it has to be the second meaning, which is an adverb. So this means the symbol is being used to describe the action of unazuita, nodding as a symbol, basically. I would translate this as as in the specific context for English. Nodding as a symbol, that means what? What kind of symbol was this nod? Listen well. Yep. I nodded as a symbol to say, oh yeah, I'm totally listening. I am listening very well. Absolutely. That's why he nodded. So, in other words, the nodding is being defined as chanto kiteru, but you can't, but toyu cannot define an action, right? Because toyu is a relative clause, so it has to define a noun. So, it had to modify a noun first in order to get me afterwards. So, we define in the nod as saying, um, oh, yeah, I'm totally listening. So, we use the word symbol to in order to convey that. The nod was a symbol to show I am totally listening. Um, let's go read this example sentence up here. Ooh, where did I go? Yeah. Imoto to you know wa do you imida. The meaning do do you. What is the meaning of the thing that's called? Uh, emoto. Right. Perfect. The thing you'd call an emoto. What is the meaning? So in English, we definitely would start with what is the meaning of the thing we'd call emoto? Because English is so weird like that. So how would you say, what do you mean by a cold? So the word imi is not in You know what? What do you mean? Is it one, two, or three for Kaze? Oh, you know what? For the word cold. Well, uh, one. So we can use one here because he's asking for definition. But specifically, so we have the word cold in English. I would do the kanji for cold. But ka the kanji would be more accurate to the book because the character doesn't know what a cold is. So he's not saying the word Kaze. He's saying um, the sound Kaze. So. That is totally correct to do um, oh. kaze number one with the katakana. So how do we finish kaze it? Number one with the katakana. Uh, we finish it with um, see, um, we say do you imida. 
So do you imida would be what is the meaning? Yes. But do we have the word what is the meaning in the English sentence? Is it or say, it say what, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? So we actually wouldn't use imi here. Do you have any idea what would be our word we use that would kind of translate as mean, but it's not actually the word mean? Any idea what would you put here? Do you koto? Yep. Do you koto? You what is the say. thing? Yep. What is the thing? So we're out, so we don't actually use the word mean in Japanese. We use thing. What is the things that you mean basically? Because koto is like a generic. So it's saying, so we have a very specific word, kaze, and we want you to go expand on what you mean by kaze, using koto basically to say expand on it. What would you define koto? The kotos of kaze, the things of kaze, how would you talk about it? So mean is just how we express that in English. Um, so yeah, you're going to have toyu down so hard because we have we're almost done though. I think there's like two more after this. <laughs> So next oh, phrase. <laughs> uh, this is your why. Yep, yo what did it? Yo. Yo what did it? Ningen o. It's to get that. Uh, this is afraid. Close. It's what actually afraid. to attack, which looks a lot like afraid and sounds like afraid. So o bieru is uh o. Another kanji for a There's a lot of phrase. Um, kyofu. The kyo part of kyofu is the kanji I think you were thinking about. This is oso, which means to attack. Oso. Oso. Osoi. Osoi kakaru. Toyu. Yami. Too heavy. All right. So theoretically, ku heavy would be a correct way to read this. But with these little marks here, you would kind of get a contextual idea that this is a name. And in names for things, there is a rule that if there's a like one hiragana, a little stray hiragana character, we actually throw that up on top. You know what the extra hiragana character we added to ku would be? Ku ku. To eat was ku ku u. Ku right. would be to eat, but now it's a noun. What is the noun version of ku? Ku i. Yep, ku i. So the yami ku i heavy would be the more accurate guess, just because of the standard rule in Japanese of um, titles. Yeah, it's like he good no kimi, for example. He good no kimi. The de right saw the just went bye bye. There is a re here, but it went bye bye because it sounds like a name. Higure no kimi. Yami kui heavy. Hi. So, what is a yami kui heavy? What is a darkness eating snake? Yami kui heavy is to def just to be defined as toyu. Okay, so this toyu is a relative clause. It is. It's toyu that. Describe. Yes, yami, it is always a heavy. relative clause that used to describe the noun phrase. And it described as Hi. or soy kakaru, the thing that attack. It's it's attack. It's kakaru. Yeah. It's it's it it's um, it. attack on something. Hi. Yeah. What does it attack? Weak human beings, you so, what so. do ningen o? Right. Those who are weak that it found. Perfect. Yep. Darkness eating snakes are defined as ones as things basically that um attack weak human beings that they find. That they find and attack weak human beings. Okay, you are now ready to reread the sentence. The sentence from the book. Okay, so it is. Eto, kaze to you know wa, fuite kuru. Kaze no koto. Okay, may I translate this sentence first, yes. Moni? Okay, so it say here that eh, um, kaze to you know wa, the thing that you call kaze, nevery, the thing that you call kaze, um. 
吹いてくる風のこと Is it a thing that blow? It is a thing that is a wind that blow? Yeah, so is that the wind that blow is thingy? That's how I would define it, just be like thingy. Is it a wind that, that blow thingy? Is it a wind that, that blows blow? at me? Kuite uh, kuru kaze no? What off? No. Kaze ni hash. Kaze ni hashi. So to all the time. Yep. Ni wa so to atat. Do you koto? So, uh, te has a meaning of a shortening of to you, to you noa, or to you kotoa. That's a way you can shorten that. Te. You say, the wind blows all the time. The wind, as for the wind, all the time it hits, it hits, I, I presume it hits me, but it's say it hits. I guess theoretically it says I'm How? hitting into the wind all the time, <laughs> this is Niwa, or being Pacific. Specifically, you're saying the wind that's always hitting, to be what it is, hitting. Yeah, the wind is always hitting. This the wind is always hitting. However, uh, to catch the hikute, hikute, hiku to you know, hikute to you know what the thing that you call hiku, do you koto? What is that thing? Yeah, what, what is the thing that you call that? hiku? Right. So what what do you mean by pull? <laughs> or in English, what do you mean no. by catch? You're doing the. the... Good translation. He could right, so up to this you point, Khan have poses two questions. First question was, what do you mean by kaze? Second question, what do you mean by pool? Yes. Okay. So now he say, oboe ga nai no de. Kubi o yoku ni futa. Because I cannot remember, cannot recall, I shook my head. Perfect. Shook my head, no. Um, do you it, happen to know what a netsu is? A netsu is, is, is a fire money? Is it hot? Ah, yeah, it, it does have to do with hotness, but it, that kanji does not mean fire. Um, sometimes I'm atsui, which is hot can have this kanji um up to so it is related but netsu is used to refer to a fever fever money the the three sentence prior that khan right. had that was his monologue it wasn't a monologue yes. it was inner these inner are log. his gimons his inner thoughts right. right this is him musing he's asking himself um, by Kaze, is he, is he talking about that thing with the wind blowing at me? I mean, yeah, wind, wind's always there hitting, but like, what does he mean by pull? Pull, pull wind. I couldn't, like, my memory couldn't think of anything. I couldn't think of what the heck he's talking about, right? There's no recollection, so I shook my head no. Because yeah. nobody was like, I'm sure you caught a cold before, have a job. And he's like, caught cold. I've been cold a lot, uh, but the catch a cold? How how would you catch it? Like playing ball, right? Is that kind of right. like confusion? How do you pull sick the wind? Um, what did Netsu mean? Fever. Netsu. So this kanji right here is pronounced how? Netsu. Fever. Perfect. And do you know wow well, how to say ow in Japanese? Itai. Itai. Pain. Oh, painful. Um, let's go read this example sentence. Netsu ga aru otoko wa kaze o hita. The man with the fever he caught a cold. 
Perfect. He's had a code. Well, he had a Half code. A cold. Cup of cold. Perfect. Um, here's a little oh. phrase for here. Our mangle is the middle one, but I thought I'd be mean and make you do the other two. It could be hard. Sora. Sora po. Is it soda? No, it's not. It is the kanji for soda, but it's not pronounced as soda when it means the word empty. Soda means sky. Ha. Yep, kara. Kara boy. Kara po. No. Okay. Full of emptiness. Oh, no, no. This po is an adjective completely. Is it? I forgot now. Is it po or poi? So poi um, is a way to turn nouns into adjectives. Most likely, po probably came from poi. And we're using no here, so it's now an adjective as well. The thing is with poi is, um, and kara is a noun, but kara po is its own thing in a dictionary. So I would not take nouns like Namari and maybe get into Namari Pono. You shouldn't really do that. You just say na, Namari Pui, right? Um, so this most likely comes from this, but this is its own word in the dictionary. Um, so you could separate it. Kara Pui has the exact same meaning as Kara Pono. There is no difference in meaning. Karapo no harao no hidoi. Close. This is soko. And not soko like asoko. Soko. It is soko as in bottom. Karapo no hara no soko. Soko. It's empty. What's empty? To the the bottom of the stuff. Yes. It's empty. Yeah. No. Empty to the, the bottom empty. of the stomach. Perfect. So in this specific sentence, it's uh, talking about something falling. I hear the sound of it falling to the bottom of my empty stomach. Um, so the next word is geri, which means diarrhea. Ooh. So let's go read what the line from the book. <laughs> what a vocab. Getty. Very important. <laughs> oh my wa haraga. Uh itak naran no ka. Naranai no ka. Hi. Geri wa netsu wa you uh stomach Nara naranai no ka naranai no ka meaning you did not get or nara meaning to become right so you did not become stomach pain yeah your you stomach, never had your stomach hurt before well, Moni, help me with this so naranai refer to the past yeah um so the naru means to become na ra na E means to have never become, ever, never, ever, will not become, yeah. never. So we said naratta, right? Nakatta, sorry. Nara, nara, nara nakatta, to not have become. That would insinuate that you might become, you might have had it now, at this moment, kind of idea. Like you did not get sick at that time but he's not saying at that time he's not being specific he's talking about ever so you've never ever become um but specifically says your stomach oh my no hara your stomach has never ever become in pain right as in your stomach has never hurt it an upset stomach right you die pain pain in stomach that has become did not become ever no becoming pain in stomach? You've never had a stomach pain? Yep. Uh, diarrhea? Fever? Nayo? No. 
It's funny if you have like, diarrhea. What does that word mean? <laughs> Geri, do you koto? Um, can you read this word for me? Guai. Guai. Tools. That's a good guess. I think of the word dolgu. Dolgu, which shares a kanji here, the gu part. Um, this gu and guai no gu, same gu. And the I here, I think, is matching I. But guai means your condition, like your health. Like genki is a good condition. So guai could be good or bad. It's just your physical condition, your health. Um, let's go read the sentence. Guai wa, wa, waraku. Ai waru. Natta. Came bad. What became bad? Your condition Hi. became Hi. bad. Yep, your condition became bad. You're not in good health. Do you remember to read this word, which meant strange? I haven't seen it in a while. So yo. It does have yo in it. Um, Kind of. Yo, why? Close. So this is this bottom part right here is me, yo, yo. The first part right here is ki, kimyo. What does kimyo mean? Strange. Perfect. Um, kimyo. Any idea how to read this word? Yo. Perfect. It also means strange. Um, let's go read this example sentence. Guai wa yoku natta. Your condition became good. Perfect. Um, what is this word that's bolded right here? Ki mio. Perfect. Mio. Um, how do you read this word that's bolded? Kindo. Good guess. It's kondo. Kondo. But correct, this is pronounced as do when it is married and tabi when it's all by itself. How would you read this counter? Adverb. Ichido. Yep, ichido. One time. Surprise, the first time it's popped up. It's mochido ite kudasai is one of those first words you learn. Can you read the sentence for me? Um, mo ichido. Itte kudasai. What does this mean? One more time. Speak for me. Please speak one more time. Please speak one more time. Please say perfect. one more time. Hi. Perfect. Perfect. Um. So let's go read the line from the book. Guai ga wara natta koto ga ichido mo nai to you no. Sore wa mio dai na chitsu ni chitsu ni setsu ni no jitsu your first reading was correct kimi yo jitsu jitsu ni kimi yo da nebari wa kapu o oita Oita Kozo Kochini Koi Guai ga condition Waraku natta koto ga the thing had become bad. Right. However, the condition so in this case the act maybe would be better, but the things uh the thing of having a bad condition ichidomo nai is uh what does that mean it was one sentence right there not even once to you know yeah are you saying that you never once good guess but that no right there is very similar to koto which was the thing so he's saying the act of so when you're saying you've never ever like it's not saying that, but like, uh, so 
the act of never even once ever experiencing the condition of having a bad condition in health, that means, hmm, that means, oh, you know, yoda. he doesn't like finish what it, what it means. But so wa, yoda. That is strange. That is unlikely. That is peculiar. Yep. That is particular. So wa, yoda na. He's he's dana. He he musing to himself. He's saying to himself, dana. Hi, hi, hi. In reality, kimi yoda. In fact, it is it's not just unlikely, but it is a strange occurrence. Yep, it's he, truly strange. He, that is strange. Truly really strange. Nobody wa cup wo Nobody places his cup down, or he places his cup. In other words, he put it down. I believe. Put it down is a better way for English, but literally, right. it just is places his cup. So I take both. Kozo, kochini koi boy, come here. Perfect. Um... Yeah, you got all that kind of pretty good. Um, do you know what fumu means? Fumu, it's this this step. Yeah, can you read this word for me? Haraba. Mm, Chira. Hi. Chirabatte ita. Scatter about. Perfect. Um, what does tukiri mean when you're referring to a heya? Heyo tukiri. Crosses the room. Hey, oh, nice. Perfect. Um, what's this kanji that's folded right here? Fumu. Fumu. The step. And what's this word? Do. Good. Do. Good. Goes. So, yoni has many uses. Do you happen to have any idea what kind of yoni is probably going on in this sentence? Never ni wa kikoi na yoni otonashiku shiro to sasayaita. This is something that the uh, yojinbo did. Never ni kikoi na yoni otonashiku shiro to sasayaita. Sasayate ita is whispering. It does mean to whisper. Which means um behave yourself, basically. Behave yourself. Nobody knew what? Going night. At nobody going night. As not to be heard. Perfect. As not to be heard from nobody. So yoni. Which can be used for a lot of ways. One of the ways is like as or in order to is one of the basic meanings. So in order to not be heard by nobody, the Yadibard whispers, hear yourself. Um, so let's go read the line from the book. This is probably our last line of the day. Unless you're speedy gazelles. Ma jutsu no dogo o fumai fumanai yo ni kiyo tsukenagara. Chirakata heya o matta tsukite. Nebri no maeni tata. So, chirakata is basically seen as chirabateta. It, it's basically the same. This, this one has more of a disordered feeling than to be specifically scattered about, but it's basically the same. Chirakata heya o. The room that is scattered with stuff. Yeah, so. Theoretically, we'd say disordered room as well, rather than a room scattered with stuff. That's just how it's, they're describing the same thing, but just, you can see how you'd use one word versus the other, right? The disordered room, the room scattered with things. So that's why you Kiyo. use chirakata here. Kiyo tsukenagara. Well, I'm, well, I have the key. Kiyotsuke, what does it mean, Kiyotsuke? Hi. So, ki is that your aura, your consciousness, basically. And tsukeru is to attach. But this is manually attaching your consciousness. When you manually attack your consciousness to stuff, that means to be careful. You're trying to be careful. You're being cautious. You're being aware. Kiyotsukeru. 
Well, I'm being cautious. In order to do what? Machitsu no dogu o fumunai yoni. So as not to step on the magical tools. While I was being cautious, I once again crosses the disorderly room. Kite. Sukite. Neburi no mai ni. Tate, I stand before Neburi. Perfect, and we have more time, so we will be continuing. You were speedy. Remember this word? Kami. Perfect. Hair. You know what siraberu means? First time we're seeing in here, but it's a pretty common word. Siraberu. To search. Yes, to search. Perfect, which is a blue verb. So what's this kanji? To search. Siraberu. Perfect. Shiraberu. Perfect. What is Wait, it is it to speak or to search, Mani? What? Shiraberu, and then there's another word. You're thinking about shaberu. 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 To, shaberu. To, talk. to talk. It has this kanji. Shaberu. Right. Very shaberu. similar sounding. This is shiraberu. Yep. Nah. Hi, so tell form Shirabete. Yep, Shirabete. Um, let's go read this example sentence. Ma jutsu shi wa kyodai. No. No, not kyodai. This is deshi. Deshi no kami o Shirabeta. I found the hair of the apprentice. You're thinking about the word <laughs> mitsukita. mitsukita. I search, search. Yes. I search for the hair of the apprentice. Good. Or the magician yes. search for the hair. So in here, to search with an O is not to search for. It is to search through. Just like do o nukeru means to go through a door. So the hair is basically the area in which he's doing the searching. So it's so I believe we use me for the target of the search. Um, but if you're searching through like paper, for example, like through the documents to look for something, the documents would be getting the o. The shoryu yo shirabeta. I search through the documents or netto shirabeta. I search through the net. So this is the way where in which we're searching, kind of like the location, but not a specific location, just the. So he searched through the hair to look for something right. else. It's exactly. not the target of his search. Exactly. Perfect. Um. Do you know what this word means? Tori go. One thing. It does mean one thing. That's correct. Um. But hitori, hitori, is a little bit different than hitotsu, which means thing. So hitotsu koto. Would be more like the word for one thing. Hitori goto is very similar to the idea of hitori for one person. It has different kanji though. It's hitori goto with hitori for single cell. Right there. And goto is for you, like kotoba. Kotoba no koto. What does hitori goto mean? If you In have a single word. That's really close in a single word, but it actually means to talk to yourself, hitorigoto, to monologue, to speak as if you're talking to yourself. So koto is your words and hitori to be alone. So to talk to your oneself. A single word would also use probably hitotsu, right? For thing. Well, hitori, I told you, is more like hitori, like one person, even though it uses different kanji. The idea with the, that hitori is like it's isolation. Yeah. When you use um hitori, like uh this one isolation hitori, like you're your bug in a in a bottle. Um. So what does tsubiyaku mean? Tsubiyaku to do it quickly. Good quickly. guess. You're thinking about yeah. subayaki. You've made this mistake before. Su su subayai is swift. Subayaku is quickly. Tu tu. Tsubuyaku with a t sound is um tsubuyaku, which becomes tsubuyaita because it is a verb. What does tsubuyaku mean? Hmm, to ask a question? 
close. That is um tazuneru or something like that. Tsubuyaku is to mutter. So it does have to do with talking. So neburi wa hitori goto no you ni tsubuyaku means nobody muttered as if he was talking to himself or in order to talk to himself. It could be either. It is not obvious, but contextually as if makes more sense. As if talking to himself, nobody mutters a line. Tsubuyaku. <laughs> Hi. Um, so I just pointed out because utsumuku sounds a lot like tsubuyaku. It has no relationship. Utsumuku is to hang your head down, you know, kind of like you're, you're just looking down at the floor. You're kind of got the wee little marks in anime. Little sad. Maybe you've got some mushrooms growing on you. Utsumuku, but kind of look down. Um, but you wouldn't utsumuku like I'm just gonna look down and pick Hirota something. It's it's normally like a sad looking down. But it doesn't have to be. <laughs> it's it could be neutral, but you wouldn't normally say like you're just looking down for pennies with Utsumuku. Uh, it, it, but it does just mean to look down. So it can be neutral or sad, but I, I wouldn't use it for happy. Utsumuku. Uh, what is the causative form of Utsumuku to make someone look down? <laughs> Yep, utsumukaseru, to force someone to look down. So um, here's our last line for realsies today. Okay. Nobody wa oreo utsumukasete kamio shirabe shirami shirami wa inai. Ina. Ina, Ina. To, hitori goto o ita. Hmm. Nobody, he, um, he causes me to uma kaze. Utsumuku. To, utsumuku. I utsumu kaze te. He, he make me bend over, bend my head. Yes. And Kamio Shirabe, he searches through my hair. And he, he Torigoto Oita, he say to himself, Shirami wa ina ina. Ah, it's, there's no lies. Uh, Perfect. Hmm. hmm. Oh, there's no lies. Interesting. So the boy's never cut a cold. Never had diarrhea, has never had a fever, has never had a hurt stomach, and he has no lice. What kind of foodology are you? <laughs> I picked you up in the streets. What's going on here? I thought he said that he had lice. He or assumed he, he had lice. He made oh. the assumption. He's like, got a dirty boy.